right, hey guys, it's Matt with Tips for Truckers over here. And today I have this light out, and it goes in this grommet just like that. And uh, the grommet is stuck to the trailer. Uh, inside like that. So, they don't make this light anymore. But what I noticed was, on the inside there, it's round like that. And I know I've seen lights like this. So I bought this one. It came with its little grommet. But we're going to use this grommet. Um, pretty sure, I, yeah, either one would work. We'll just use this same grommet just uh, for simplicity's sake. And I just want, just eyeballed it. And yeah, that's going to fit in there. So basically what I did was I clipped these, this plug off the end of the other one to get me some other slack. And uh, this is what those uh, two plug into. So like I said, that's going to give me plenty of slack just in case these pigtails aren't as long. And I'll hit both of these with a um, buck connector and get it all fixed up. Stay tuned. Guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip these two wires with my uh, wire cutters. You, you know, I gotta eyeball the wire and see which gauge it is. I can just eyeball this and look at that it's um, about 18 or so. But what you want to do is you want to look at the wire size and have it go to the corresponding hole uh, rather than the uh, insulation. Because you're going to want to cut the insulation off. Hey, Shelby, come here to help me. And when in doubt, always go a size bigger than you think it is. Because you can always cut it smaller. And then you twist it up. And you're just going to mash that into the buck connector. Maybe since this is small, I'll fold it in half. Put that in the buck connector. Put the other side in the buck connector. So, like I said, give it a little twirl like that once you hit it with the um, wires uh, strippers. What I like to do before I put any buck connectors on it is make sure that uh, it works, obviously. So, I got the plugs in there. I just twisted the wires together. And so, got my... Um, lock and unlock and when I push unlock it lights all the all the um, lights up so let's test it and see if it'll work now if you put your unlock button underneath your um, uh, chin here it'll use your head as a satellite and you'll get better range so let's see if we can and as you can see it lights up it's working great now let's throw some butts on there hey guys so now we got our buck connectors, our torch, and we got the crimping tool to crimp the buck connectors. But well, hold on, wait. Before we put them on there, we got to put the light in the grommet and uh, through the hole in there. Put the wires through there, and they'll end up underneath here somewhere because. If I were to buck connect this or solder it, how the hell is it gonna, we're gonna put it back through that hole? <laughs> anyway, uh, thank God I didn't, I didn't get that uh, mess up this time. But honestly, I have before. Uh, this was a little bit staged, but uh, don't forget, put the light through the grommet and uh, put the buck connectors on the, on underneath the trailer here after you put the wires through. Alright guys, to save myself a little bit of hassle, I like to put the buck connectors on the wire that's going to be most difficult to put in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this uh, through the grommet. And like I said, that, that light will fit in there with a little bit of coaching. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my buck connectors on here and I've observed that I will be able to fit the buck connectors through the grommet just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy then we'll crimp this side on hit it with the torch you 
thinner one uh, to smash that wire down as much as you can. And like I said, this is the crimping side of the wire cutters. Hey Shelby. And you're just going to crimp it, smash it down. Just on one side, not the other side, obviously. Give it a little bit of yank, make sure it's got uh, a good grip on there. I said I'm just going to put these right through the grommet, the other grommet here, one at a time, can't put them both through at the same time, there we go, and let's see how they came out on the other side. As you can see, it came out in one piece. All right, my uh, camera was getting kind of hot, but I hit it with the crimpers on the buck connectors. Got a good solid connection on both. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my torch. There's a flame on there, even though you can't see it. Yep, and I am just going to, whoa, that's a lot of heat. <laughs> Melt those, try to get both sides of them. And you want to work from the bottom up because heat rises. And this is going to keep all the water out of your butt connector. But let them cool off. I'm going to let them cool off. I'm going to throw this uh, little piece of rubber on there just to give them a little bit of protection from getting chafed. But as you can see, I pushed that thing in there. Like I said, this is a retrofit. Doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to function. And it works perfectly. It's Matt with Test for Truckers. And that's how you retrofit a lot. It's the old one. This is obviously the new one. Have a great day.